guys, I hope you're all doing well. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how I'm styling my curtain bangs. I just recently cut my hair, so my fringe bangs, how you wanna call it, is a little bit shorter now. But I'm gonna show you guys how I style it to be like very nice and like the, like a Bridget Bardot kind of look. So yeah, let's get into it. So to begin with, I'm gonna begin by brushing out the front of my head. This is just to see where the fringe begins because I like to divide the fringe in two parts and section it to blow dry. This technique you can do on wet hair and on dry hair, it works well as well. But here I'm just basically, let's say I'm recycling my hair because it's a second day hair, but you could easily do that on a wet hair as well after uh, washing. And then what you're gonna need is a medium to a small size round brush. I wouldn't recommend you using a very large one because for this part at the top of your head, you wanna make sure that you're getting you know, that really nice wave and bounce. And for that, you need a smaller brush that's gonna create more, more of a wave and a curl. So I like to use more of a medium, small size like the one I'm using here. My tip here would be for you to place the hair dryer at the back of this section because this is going to help lift and give volume to the roots. While you blow dry your hair, you have to rotate your brush. You can see here that I am rotating the brush and you have to do that constantly, you guys. If you want that fluffy, beautiful, bouncy ends, you have to rotate the brush. But yeah, I know this is gonna kill your arms, you know, it's a lot of hard work, but if hairdressers can do it, we can do it too, girls. So after I finish blow drying that section, I like to add a hair roller. You can use a Velcro one. This one I'm using here is a heated one, but actually a Velcro one will work so much better for this, so... And then moving on to the front part, you're basically gonna do the exact same thing. You're gonna blow dry that part and then you're gonna add a um, roller as well and then just leave it there for a little bit. And then I'm gonna show you guys how I styled the rest of my hair. This was gonna be just a video dedicated to the curtain bangs, but I actually thought it would be helpful to add me styling the entire hair. So I'm gonna finish my hair and then at the end you see the final result. Right, so time to take the rollers off. Right, the next thing I like to do is to brush through my hair after I curled because I feel like doing this will really give you that really beautiful fluffy hair. Also, brushing your hair after curling will also give you that blowout look. So yes, my love, this is the final result. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you found this video helpful. Love to know what you guys want to see next here on my channel. So please leave on the comments down below. Make sure to subscribe and I'll see you all on my next video. Mwah.